Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is a development on top of the story that we covered earlier this week. Remember that whole chestnut where the GOP representative was attacked by a guy wielding a knife at one of his campaign stops in New York? Remember that? Then, very shortly after his arrest, he was released on his own recognizance? Well, that was a very interesting story, and it really spoke to New York and the state of affairs there. However, the breaking news is the Federal Department of Justice has now arrested him and is holding him for trial. Now, the obvious question you have to ask there is, why do the feds think this is worthy of being arrested and put on trial and 10 years in prison versus the state police in New York who go, yeah, well, maybe not. The answer to that question lies in everything related to the 2A, related to crime, related to protecting and providing for your own families. Every single member of New York needs to see this video or at least what's going on because this speaks to what we're fighting for every single day and that's what we're going to talk about. Everything is linked in the description box per usual and if you guys are new, we would love to have you grab that subscription bell. Make sure that subscription is active so we can get 2A news to you quickly and effectively and we would love to have you in the fold. Now, one of the things that makes this video possible is a shirt that I co-designed with Nine Line. Now, the shirt I'm particularly proud of, it is right here. It is all about constitutional carry and the fight that we did this year. All states are red, constitutional carry, and on the back, you have constitutional carry tour 2022 with some American flag and all the states listed, so you can say you were a part of that this year. It's a limited shirt, and thank you so much for clicking that link in the description, at least checking it out. But... Let's get into this because I've got to show you this and tie this all together, all right? Here we go. Again, three articles are linked down there. I'm just going to show you these headlines and I'm going to go with the CNN article. Suspect in Zeldin attack is arrested on federal charge. Alleged Lee Zeldin attacker arrested on federal assault charge, okay? And here's the other one. Suspected attacker of GOP Representative Lee Zeldin arrested on federal assault charge. Now, this guy was caught on tape doing this. In fact, the thumbnail on this video is this guy doing this, right? So there's not really a question if he did it or not. He just has to go to trial. Now, that's the important part on federal level because it's a federal crime to intimidate or to harm a sitting representative, particularly one in an election cycle, right? This is incredibly important because the feds saw it as an arrestable and, and punishable offense, while the state of New York didn't. That's what we're going to get to in one second. CNN. The man accused of attempting to stab New York gubernatorial nominee Representative Lee Zeldin on stage at a campaign event has been arrested on a federal assault charge. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Western District of New York said after he was released on his own recognizance shortly following an initial arrest Thursday. And that's what my first video was around. What is going on in New York? Because if you zoom out just from our fight and the 2 way fight that we do every single day, you've got the Bruin case that just came down and completely got away with proper cause or proper reasoning to give a uh, concealed carry permit issued to the people. Completely gone. So their solution was to say, well, all private businesses are sensitive places. You can't take it on a taxi cab. You can't take it in public transit. You can't take it in a government building. You pretty much can't take it anywhere unless that business says you are welcome there with a posted sign. Now, the thing that is blaring here, and I don't even have a clue how no one sees this on the left, is New York is making it harder and more difficult for you to defend yourself with a natural right that is granted or protected, excuse me, protected in the Constitution. This is something that while they are saying you cannot have this as common sense gun laws, here's the loops you have to jump through and make it more expensive and cost prohibitive, which disproportionately affects the lower income spectrum of the uh, economy. Not only are they saying that, they're also letting people out like this. So on one hand, they are making the situation worse by releasing these people out in the streets on their own recognizance. And at the same exact time, in order to solve the problem they created, they're making it more difficult for you to defend yourself through the Second Amendment, completely legal and part of our American birthright. That is not okay, and that is the whole point of this. Let's keep going. Jukubanis was already facing state charges over the alleged attack Thursday. He had been charged with attempted assault in the second degree after being accused of confronting Zeldin, a Republican, while he's giving a speech in Fairpoint, New York. Jacobanis, quote, attempted to stab Zeldin, a statement from the campaign said, and the GOP lawmaker grabbed the attacker's wrist to stop him until several others assisted in taking the attacker down to the ground. Zeldin was not injured. Yeah, the guy literally held either a knife or a sharp object at Zeldin's throat and said, you're done. That sounds pretty threatening to me. Just saying. All right, so that's the entire scenario, and yet he was still released on his own recognizance, again, creating a problem. 
Following his initial arrest Thursday, Jacobanus was held for six hours before his arraignment, where he was released on his own recognizance, according to a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy, Brendan Hurley. He had travel restrictions limiting him to Monroe County, and an order of protection was also issued for him to stay away from Zeldin, according to court paperwork. Oh no. The dude literally just said, I'm going to take you down, held a knife or a sharp object to a representative's throat, and the court goes, don't you go near him now. You think he's going to listen to a piece of paper? The feds obviously didn't see that way because they came in and they arrested him. What is going on that the federal government, the DOJ says, no, this is not okay, he's in trouble on a federal level, to where the state goes, well, he can walk free, we'll talk to you when it's your court date. That's the point. All of this points to the idea that they are making the environment unsafe. They are adding criminals to the population for more things to happen, all the while restricting your ability to defend yourself from a toxic situation that they are creating. That's why this is so important, because that's why we have the Second Amendment. That's one of the reasons that we defend ourselves on a daily basis, utilizing the Second Amendment. Got one more thing for you. Due to the class of felony allegedly committed, under New York law, the presiding judge couldn't have set bond even if they wanted to. Hurley previously told CNN, In 2019, New York's bail reform law has eliminated cash bail for most misdemeanor and nonviolent felony charges, and Class E is the least serious class of felony. He was charged with a felony, no cash bond, and gets straight out. It's all based on bail reform, which ironically is something that Zeldin was speaking on. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.